Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, <laughs> your best source for the newest Atari games oh. and cats as well. And cats, yes. At least one cat on we, we the We talked camera about, right what now. was it, Shine or Shrink Wrap? I can't remember. There was something about the cat <laughs> and how it was still new. -ish. He's shiny and new. He's less than a year old. Mm -hmm. uh, today we're going to be playing Atari 8 bit games. Got one white fur. One white You're fur. You're breaking up, Captain. Uh oh. Here you are. All better, eh? Uh, we're going to be playing Dracula Story uh, by Grevel. Grevel? Grevel? Uh, these are all 2022 games. We're going to also be playing, uh, taking a look at Outrun, uh, kind of an early version of Outrun. Uh, and we have the developer in the chat. So if you have any questions for the developer, uh, you can... Uh, oh, thank you, Carl G, for subscribing to Zero Page Homebrew. It's 36 time. months! Yum, 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 oh, yum, currently on a 36-month streak. Oh, it's cat time. Perfect Already, timing, actually. Already. <laughs> Tail to the face. <laughs> smack, 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 smack. Let's get those cats on the screen. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's okay. Whatever the hell that is. Uh, the bells have been put out. Let's put them more towards the camera. Oh, did he? Did he, he bring it? He did didn't. He oh, I know. It? I broke the rules. I broke the rules. Yep. <laughs> are you give, are you breaking them in half? Yeah. Uh, more treats, but less filling. That's good. Um, Finger. Oh. An early version of Outrun is better yeah. than most racing games. Yes. Uh, also, we're going to play Skakatori. He thinks he did it. So Skakatori. <laughs> yeah. He thought he did because they hit it at the same time. Oh. And we'll also be playing Hang Mad by Bocianu. Bocianu? Make, um, make, make a sound. Making yeah, cats happy early. Well, it's better than them attacking us and bothering us constantly. They did it again, where they both hit it at the same time. Oh my god. Synchronized cats! It's a new event! Synchronized bell ringing. That was not synchronized. Nope. Come on. Ring it. Come on. Oh, come on. You gotta hit it harder. He's so soft with it. Harder. Oh my God. <laughs> You're killing me here. There oh, you go. There you go. Yay. Uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers scrolling down. <laughs> oh, my oh God. did he get it? I think he did. Oh, no. Sprite has grown a lot. He is he is getting big and his tail's getting fluffy. I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers scrolling beside. Uh, well, they're not scrolling right now beside Darcy, but they will be. Oh, look at that. You both did it. Alifer, Arena Foot, Arms Car Coder, oh. Atari 800 XL Rules, Atari 1974, Atari Age, Atari Patch Quest, BR Polka, Buck Owens, Caffman 2D, Charles Adonai Mao, Charles and Check, Charles Whelan, Colonel Lama, Cubanismo, Dan ABC, Dr. Moose Cows, Emu Dan, Gopher Man, Great Defender, Ding Ding, uh, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC, Carl G, Ken Jennings, oh. Invader, Golar and TDZ, Mark mm -hmm. Yannis, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari 1969, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Letow, Miss Command, Mr. Zarna Whoop, uh, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, Nostalgic, Pack Rat, Cohog, R. Anschwitz, R. 70 rendered ghost friendless vg ricardo pim six weeks smitty b spice where s mirrors the d train lost cartridge welsh man thrust who's in the chat tiki dan kt foes team events trek md 2600 x ken x if you want your name scrolling beside the nobody uh you can do what carl g just did and uh subscribe by hitting subscribe and if you have amazon prime it'll give you the option to subscribe for free um, I have a poll question, Darcy. I have a poll question. Oh. And the poll question is... Was I on that list? That. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think you've been on the list for a little while. Uh-oh. You better get on that list, get mister. This. There you go. Do you have consoles? Shh. Oh, that, hush us. Consoles? Hush us. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Hush us. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> not trying hard enough. Volume down. Volume um, down. Do you have my volume is down for everything. Do you have consoles <laughs> slash computers from another region other than your own? Now you can apply this to just Atari systems, or you can apply it to any console or computer. Um, so if you're in NTSC land, that means me. do you have one for PAL and CCAM? If you're in PAL land, do you have one for NTSC or CCAM? Um, I don't yet have what well, I because I was thinking I need to get a PAL um, Atari computer system. Let's pause it. Wasting bandwidth, man. 
There you go. <laughs> I have to close this. Yes. Uh, because I can't play some PAL games. Some some PAL games play on NTSC, um, but at worst, they kind of stutter, and the music's weird, and they're slow. Uh, sometimes they don't play at all. Um, so I'm looking to get an Atari 8-bit PAL. But I do... Oh, Drexel just subscribed! Woo! <laughs> do what Drexel did. 20 months. Um, but I do have other systems. From... I wasn't listening to you at all. I don't even know what you're talking... Are, are we even talking about video game systems? I have no Actually, idea. Actually, I don't think I have any PAL systems. But hmm. I do have Japanese systems that are outside of my realm. I don't know if that counts. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's why I was Jap asking about Japanese consoles since they're Did NTSC you put the poll well. up? I did. Can you scroll up? Oh, wait, no, I can do it here. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they would count. Uh, uh, I'm going to say they do count because I have a bunch of Japanese systems. But I don't have any PAL systems yet. No. So my first one will be an Atari computer. No, I don't. I definitely don't. No, I don't. No. no. It's, it's fairly uncommon to do that because you'd either want to... You'd have to try. For me, you'd have to, you'd have to try. You'd have to go out of your way. Like, they're not common. Like, you can't go into a, a gaming store and go, oh, I'm going to pick up... A, you'd have to ask them. I did, have, I did have an issue. It wasn't that. But when I lived in Germany as a kid, oh. I, had, I had... Somehow I had a race car set. I must have gotten it from someone because... Yeah. That's just not the sort of thing I had. Did but, you bring it with you? Or did you get it there? I, we must have gotten it. We must have it must have come from here because right. it didn't work. Because of the 60, 50 hertz. Or maybe it was the other way around. But it, it was too slow. So that would suggest <laughs> yeah. that it was here. But I don't know how I would yeah. have gotten a race car set there. Like that doesn't make any right. sense. My Why story not? is a <laughs> bit hazy. Rambly and hazy. A bit <laughs> hazy. I was eight, so you can maybe yeah, forgive can, me. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's not barely human. Newer TVs. I mean you have human hertz. rights, but that's about <laughs> as close to being human as you get. Like technically you're human, but <laughs> technically human. <laughs> uh, I have a Super Eight for my SNES. Uh, I only have one display in my house, and it can handle PAL signals, and it's too small to use as a gaming device display, uh, Ivory Tower says. Um, and uh, upscalers can handle PAL, mm. and they would translate it and to And they translate 80. it, yeah, yeah. So that's what's going to happen when I get a PAL uh, Atari 8-bit. And you need it because there are games that just aren't for... Uh, there are just games I cannot play on NTSC. They most games are developed in Poland <laughs> for the Atari. Oh, yeah, Advent. yeah, you were saying that. Yeah, uh, like yeah. a lot come mm -hmm. from Poland, and that's PAL land. And so I just can't play them. Um, so that's my reasoning to get a PAL system so I can play them. And uh, yeah, I just run through the upscaler and it works just fine. Um, so let's see what people are saying. No, 66%. And yes, 33%. They do have um, systems other than where they are. And oh, I, sh I should have picked three, really. But uh, I do have Japanese systems. So I, you can say they count. What was or number not. three? Uh, I would like to get one. Uh, Don't have one, but I would like to get one. Yeah, I can't yeah. say that number three applies to me. I yeah, I don't you have, have some consoles. I don't have, str I don't have strong feelings about getting one from another zone. You mostly play PC gaming. Yeah, yeah. Mostly, yeah. And you have VR setup as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, video card prices have come down. Are you going to get a upgraded video card? It it seems like the time for it. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'll wait until... I'll, the did the new one coming out or just came out? Coming out? So it seems like that's the time that's to do it. Either to get that one or yet. to get the previous one. I would get a 3000 when yeah. the 4000 comes out. Well, it's out. just it depends because like every once in a while the new one coming out is so good, such a huge jump that it's worth it to get it. Right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But usually yeah. that's not the case. Yeah. Usually it's now it's minor more minor upgrades. Yeah. But like the, the 1080 for more. instance, the 1080 when it came out, that was one of the the leaps that it a was. A huge leap. Yeah. yeah. And and I can't even remember what it was. I remember there being another one in like Never mind. Mm. Boring story. <laughs> I don't even remember the details of my story. Just the feelings that I had at the time. I felt good about it. I, I felt good about what, it. It was I, a super awesome deal. It was like such a jump in technology. <laughs> Random. Just. So I, <laughs> I got a power supply for a new power supply for my light. 
Um, so you can tell we're uh, lit more on the top of our heads and the shelves and background are lit more because the power supply burnt out. Oh, and, and it was running low before? It was just not working. Oh, I see. Yeah, the power brick, that little light didn't come on anymore. Don't pull too hard on that. It doesn't have a long enough barrel plug and it's kind of hanging in the <clears throat> middle of space right now. So I need to get a barrel yeah. extender yeah. Uh, for that, which is super cheap. What's a barrel? Well, that's a barrel plug, the round plug that goes uh, into it. Yeah. Um, because that's the part that's short. Yeah. Um, they're like nothing. It's just wiring, right? Um, so I just need to get the same size extender barrel plug that has the same pin. That, yeah. That's what happened to me last time. I had to get a new computer because I yeah. couldn't get the new uh, video card. So I don't really want to get a if new the, computer. I, I haven't up. That's the problem. I bought it if you get a new ago. video card, yeah. your computer has to handle the speed of that video yeah. card, and it may not. And then you have to just upgrade everything. So, is it a three thousand series? Is the current ones? Uh, yes. Do you need a new? I have a three thousand uh, in mind. Do you need a new computer for that? I don't know. <laughs> there's like there's like eight time slots, sixteen time slots, and yeah, I yeah. don't know. Uh, it depends depends how old your motherboard is, really. Uh, so there are some cool giveaways for some homebrew games that people should be aware of if they have or enjoy these games. It is... let's show them. The first one is for Jaguar game, Gravitic Mines. <coughs> and Machine is giving away some free cards if you make it to... Uh, pilot four or five. Whoever completes level pilot four or five on the game, uh, you will send them this for free. So you just show them or uh, show the show machine that you did it, and you get this uh, pilot card, uh, pilot identification card, and jet and uh, machine makes a lot of patches and pins and coins for various games. And they're really, really nice quality. He's made some aftermarket patches for Activision games that never had patches. Mm. That's really cool. Yeah, he makes great patches. Yes, Esamiras can confer on that one. Um, so, yeah, if you have Gravitic Mines, uh, then show that you uh, made it past Pilot 4 or 5. So that is a goal for uh, After Dark for us. Uh, he did say I have a limited number of these, so the offer will run until I end it here. He didn't say how many. I know there's <clears> at least like five people that did it. Posting for the card. Uh, I beat, beat Pilot 4 or 5. A reward for something I did in June. Yes, please, and thank you. <laughs> so you may already be qualified for this. So get in as quick as possible so that you can earn your Pilot card from Machine. Uh, the next one is for Orbital War, which you and I played on a show previously. Uh, it's that one where you yep. shoot the different levels. Mm -hmm. So you can get into this competition. Uh, here's the rules. Da -da -da. Challenge one. Uh, no, the challenge goal. Get to wave three of the game and submit one screenshot showing the three military badges. I can't remember where we got to. We got almost to the end of the game, I think. Like, really close one time? I know we beat a couple levels, but I can't remember if we got to game uh, wave three. We'll have to check it out. Yeah, I can't remember if we got to wave three. Um, so you have to email... I didn't. No, we, we, we cooperatively <laughs> played that game. Okay. I think it's easier yeah, to yeah. cooperatively play it. So you have to send a photo to skyline2600games at Gmail or a private message on Facebook with your name and date of the picture. Uh, there's a second challenge as well, and a third challenge. So you have to do three challenges to get through this, and they've done this in the past with Rally Racer. It's not just one thing, you have to do multiple levels of it. Uh, but if you do get first place, you get a cartridge of your choice from the Raw War series, which is Orbital War is part of that. I'm guessing if you already have this one, you wouldn't be choosing that one again, unless you want to give it to your friend, because it looks like they're going to be making three of them. Uh, second place, coupon for 50% 50 50 off the next game. Third place, 25% off the next game. Um, actually, if you just participate in challenge two, you get a 5% discount. 
Um, goal challenge goal one, you don't get anything. Uh, but you have to make challenge goal two and three to get the big prize. First prize will be sent to the winner for free. Uh, and you receive tips to get further in the game if you play. Uh, and that was a very fun game, so I think we might participate in that as well. I know there, like he said, there's three challenges, so it does take a lot to get through it. I have this game, but I haven't played it yet. Was it even possible to play solo? I It is. I think it's a lot harder. I'm trying to remember... Because two what? people do separate things. Yeah, I'm trying to remember, because we tried it solo. And you could do it. Yeah, yeah, and I'm... And did you it, could probably did, did make the it. game change? The game didn't change. Okay. Uh, your ability to shoot two different things at once changed. I think there was a thing on the bottom you can move from different positions. Yeah. And that yeah. was in one bullet. Mm -hmm. And the other bullet was a ship you move. Um, yeah. But you could control both of them with one joystick. Um, I can't remember. It's been a, a couple months since we played it. But. If you're really skilled, I don't see any reason why you couldn't make it through to level three. Um, but it is easier with two players. So if you have two players, go for that. Um, I mean, you just have to use your toes on the second joystick. That's right. Yeah, you could. Toes it. I think you can do it with one And that qualifies too. as really skilled. <laughs> oh, yeah. Multitasking. Um, oh, yeah, this is it. Let me open the Instagram as well. So Kid SNZ, one of the uh, organizers slash developers of um, Pizza Boy, you you're gonna make him leave. Are not you just remove him. You gotta make him leave. <laughs> uh, like force him to leave. Yes. Yep. Okay. No. 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 I don't know if this will work on this persistent kitten. Uh, he said, you have "I to be, you just have to be more persistent than this persistent <laughs> oh <my> kitten." <laughs> That's right. I think I'll show the. Um, here we go. Here's the video of what I'm talking about. You, I don't know what you're after, but don't. <laughs> <laughs> so he is the developer of Pizza Boy, as you can see there. Uh, he said, "I had over a hundred visitors to my open uh, studio last weekend, and many enjoyed Pizza Boy within my Atari AR project." So you can see there, they point it at the sign, the Game Over sign, and it'll come up on their phone, and they can play the Atari Twenty Six Hundred game. And they're playing their phone. it. Not just playing it on their phone, but like, are they playing it on the camera? They're playing it on that sheet. That they're on the camera. They're playing it using some app and they have to be pointed at the sign because that's the screen so it replaces the screen with uh the sign with the screen of the oh game. so wherever this wherever the sign is in your camera that's where the screen is yeah okay. so you can't walk away and play it you yeah. have to play it pointing at it and there's some more people playing that's it very cool yeah it's really really cool um i started the project early but they're all this... holding their phones wrong <laughs> they are obviously the, the screen is sideways but people yeah. oh but the controls may not work with the sideways then why is the screen sideways see the game yeah, over sideways that's a problem they need to back up really i bet it would work if you turn it sideways i think so yeah the controls would well the controls the person who made this right game direction. was in charge of that sign i think that they're like because left just, yeah. would still be left i don't know it, it's just a rotate thing like yeah. screens rotate it's not hard to integrate that is it? Am I wrong? I think <laughs> don't know. I, I don't know. I have to ask the developer. Uh, I, I think it would be just a, a case. It goes, what size is your screen? Oh, is it 2x4 or 4x2? And yeah. where do you put this thing? But up is up and down is down and what have you. So the, 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 I think the controller would be there and be, and the phone would, would take control. I think the, the phone takes control of the reorienting of things, though. It, it's oh, like, it oh, might. the screen is at the top now, not the bottom. Like, it's just how it is. Uh, might, might. Um, I can't believe we're sitting here ignorantly arguing about this thing and nobody has said, no, this is how it is. Because <laughs> they don't know. Because they, they, usually, they usually interrupt my ignorance with uh, knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to the support of everyone in this community, I was able to make it happen. You can watch a video of people in my studio playing Pizza Bar Boy in AR with the camera on my painting at the following link. So please take a look. The experience of pointing the camera at the painting and having the game pop screen pop-up in virtual space of AR was very new and everyone was very surprised. 
I would like to hold a group exhi exhibition of games created by this community in the near future. We'll display paintings based on your game and invite people to play them on my <coughs> Atari AR. If anyone is interested in participating, please contact me. Uh, so if you are a developer of Atari 2600 games, because I'm guessing this only supports 2600 games, um, get in touch with uh, Sinji Shinji uh, slash Kid S N Z, and you can be part of their next exhibit. Um, so we're on to our first game, Dracula Story. So I'll give you the joystick. There you go. The first two games we can play on the system on the console uh, or the computer. The next couple we cannot, unfortunately. Uh, okay. This is a bratwurst. Yes, it is a bratwurst. So, um, somebody said they have a twin stick, and I didn't yeah. know they made a twin. Oh no, I think I did. But the the buttons are a bit like they're in weird positions. Yeah. Not that you need you use buttons on twin <clears> sticks because they're on like the back or the sides, which would be kind of cool for pinball. Um, no, I but why doesn't that. it say bratwurst on it? So this should That's, be just like a sausage, maybe. Because I call it a bratwurst oh, joystick, okay. and now everybody is. Um, why is it called a? Why do you call it a bratwurst? Because that's the the handle of the guy who made it. On ah. and you have to identify it somehow. So yeah, it's the bratwurst joystick. Okay. Uh, he made two, but I bought them for both for the Ultimate Robot War setup. Uh, okay, he only made two of them. Yeah. Or does he mean there were two physical ones he made, or does or is there are two versions? Mm, I think just two. <clears throat> he made two, but I bought them both. <laughs> so you bought you all got a link of them. There. Click on the link. Okay, let's take a look at that. Oh, it opened up in something that I did not want it to open up, but I can move it over here. Oh, I should have done paste and go. I know. I thought the same thing, and then I thought <laughs> I'm not going to say that because that there, would be a dick move. There we go. Huh? So it has two. Uh, Those buttons actually seem pretty good because you'd be like this. Oh yeah, I, that's as best you can do, really. Yeah, there you that's, go. That's, that's pretty, pretty much good. ideal. Yeah, so why it's... didn't you get one of those yet? Because <laughs> I already have a. You a don't even have all the stuff because I know. you don't even have that one. I can't believe what a lame gamer you are. I know. <laughs> I have two of these available. Uh -oh. And RC70 bought both of them. Thanks, RC70. You How could you buy Bratwurst Why would you need two of them? <laughs> oh my goodness, you're terrible. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. He didn't. He bought one of them. P1 uh, FQ03 looks obvious. Has two. They have two of them as well. So they're more than two. Okay. So that person bought two. Unless, our, <laughs> unless that's RC70. Is that you, RC70? Yeah, I think that is. Yeah. <gasps> That's him. <laughs> Why? Look, you already have two other dual joysticks from um, well, Retro Game Boys. But that's Robot that's War. That explains why he wants two of these. Oh he had a use for two of those. So uh, the uh, oh oh, <laughs> that's right. You do need two of them for two-player uh, Robot War with a quad quadtari. That's why. So when are more of them coming out? <laughs> they obviously sold to great success. Look, everybody's everybody's <laughs> buying two. Everyone who buys them buys two. <laughs> That's right. Absolutely everyone. <laughs> Those are very, uh, they're very nice joysticks. Yeah. Um, do I have two dual? I don't have two dual. I just have one dual. So I can't play two player robot war. Um, so yeah, I need them as well. Uh, so, onto our first game, uh, which is Dracula Story. So, let's switch over to that. Uh, I could see people just buying the dual and skipping the single one and just being like, well, two and dual? I have both. <laughs> just be like this. Do, 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 or yeah, I have actually, the Ed, that doesn't quite work. I have the Ed Ladin Super Twin, which is great. Uh, so, go up to today's date. Eventually. <laughs> Is that today's date? Yes. Numbers. Numbers. Numbers are hard. Dracula story. So this is made by Jan Johnson Grevle. Oh no, it's the blue screen of death. It is. Uh, first posted August 15th, 2022. This build is from September 15th, 2022. It's a 90k game. You can download this in the Atari Age forums. 
He, when he posted, he said, So this game seems to be close to finished. First name was Dracula Homeground, which I found no record of where, whatsoever, uh, except that statement and me saying on my listings it used to be called Dracula Homeground. So kind of useless information. I couldn't find where he posted it. This, 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 the length of time it took to load just reminded me of when you were, when we were trying out the thing for the first time and you were yeah. like, oh, this is broken. It's not working. <laughs> it's taken so long. I was like, you seem to have forgotten. Like <laughs> Commodore 64 days. And it's even better than that because it makes a sound while it loads. Yeah, like yeah. the old tape, tape stuff <laughs> does. Um, okay. So, he gave no instructions, but it's fairly self-explanatory. So, you press the button. I feel like I was controlling the colors of the Dracula light on the intro there. So, oh no! The princess is in another castle! So this is his house. And I'm going uh, back to bed. <laughs> He's got some skulls there. I can't even get to my skulls. I know, you've got bigger priorities. Oh, a nice castle. He's got a flag. Arg, a no! Arg. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> oh he got you on the second bullet. Oh, no. I really liked my first round that where was... I jumped all the things all at the same time. That was good. And I was never able oh, to recreate no. it again. That's uh, beginner's luck. Oh, you hit your head on a, a creepy crawly uh, tree tree spider monster. Oh, that's your last life, I think. I'm so glad that they give you so many lives. My humiliation <laughs> that was a be lot of lives. maximized. Oh, game over. Couch compliance. Oh, is it? Oh, is it just delaying? Try it again. Oh, it was just delaying. Okay. So you don't accidentally restart it. It was a long delay, though. So, uh... No, I'm not no. controlling it. That would be cool, though. Nice little bonus. Just, it's a, actually Seven a very lives. peculiar algorithm that's changing the colors. Like, it's not it's, obvious what's happening. No, it's, it's kind of like, random-ish. It's almost like there's a picture behind it. Oh, that that's if you could moving. See, if you could see what's moving back there, it would make sense. But it doesn't make sense, like, in what you're... It, yeah, it almost seems yeah. like it's random which colors. It, it that, seems random, yeah. Uh, X equals USR1536 uh, posted, I made it to level 3, but only as far as the pumpkin. It's shaping up nicely. Uh, this is very similar to Hunchback, apparently. Uh, Hunchback, despite its flaws, has always been one of my favorite arcade games. <laughs> <coughs> Dracula Story does a great job. Oh, oh. Yeah! Yes! Fight that Did guy. Did you see how he opened his mouth? He's like, oh, no, 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 no. Nom, humans. <laughs> they are tasty, too. You can get that. Nom, nom, nom. I guess that's a cup of blood. Okay, go up, 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 up. Okay, avoid them. Oh, no, no, no. Don't touch that. Yeah. Wait till there's something to get, and then get the thing. No, don't do that. You're, you're right on target, and then you moved. No, don't go so close to them. You're giving yourself less time. I know, but I'm not good at games. I don't <laughs> know how many times I need to tell you this. <laughs> okay, get that when it's safe to do so. Turn right when it's safe to do so. Oh, I have to get more than one, I guess. To get that Pope. Pope dude with the, with the funny hat. Whoa! -ho -ho. Get him! Nom 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 So uh -oh. avoid all the things and make it out. There you go. Avoid the walls, I think, too? I'm not sure. But I would avoid the walls just in case. Uh, one thing on the screen with the Pope. Uh, the gap in the flying spears can be impossible to reach in time depending on what game. So Yay. much love! Our love has destroyed the skull! Da, da, oh, she's da, da, da. a vampire too. I didn't ah. get that. She has powers She's a too. green vampire. Yeah. She's very... Uh, very oh, is she going to get face. kidnapped again? Ugh. Why do you go to sleep? Because she's... she's unobservant of what's going on behind her and why just don't, gets grabbed. Why doesn't she... I mean, I, it's not like I crawled into the coffin and I she was like, oh, in. sorry, lady, there's not enough room for both of us. I turned only into one, a bat first. She only, was a bat. We were bats. Let's bat it up in there. There's tons of bat room Yeah, they'll there. close the lid and then we don't even need to know what happens in there. That's their business. Yeah, but certainly kidnapping would be reduced 
<laughs> okay, level two. Okay. Kick ass. Uh-oh. Don't hit that. It's a landmine right it outside is. my door. It's a wiggly ah! And watch over the coconuts! Oh no. <laughs> Last life and <laughs> done. <laughs> Oh. It does seem like there's a picture behind it. I wonder if you could do some graphics <laughs> that use the effect to get higher perceived detail on the cheek. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's like a cute little robot. Dee, 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 dee. It does look like a robot. Yeah, the flame the, seems the, out the of place. Mine. Yeah, well, the coconut falling on level one, I thought was pretty funny. That like, it's is. just outside. Don't get hit on the head could with, be, the, with the coconut. Could be pine cones. It could be... Uh, a mortar, <laughs> like, a, like a mortar the tree bomb. One? <laughs> yeah. Somebody's hiding in the tree. Yeah. I mean, there's obviously kind of. Oh, that is a bomb. What the hell? I'm sure it's some sort of like pine cone or coconut <laughs> that just ha happens to have like holy water or something in it. Oh, oh James, no, you gotta run in and jump all of them at the same time. Oh, like what the cool kids do. Woo! Yeah. And then eat him oh, nom, nom, with nom. your teeth. I got nah. him. I munched on him. His teeth are a bit blocky, but they are very notably, like, you know, enlarged. Oh, yeah. One! You have to get two? Was it two? Yeah, two. Okay. The Pope has two defense thingers. <laughs> oh, I, did I, I didn't even touch him. I think you killed him with explosions. He was yeah. too close to an explosion thing. I like also on this map that although... It Run. doesn't die when it runs into those things. Its head's not allowed to touch them. Oh no. my god. You just do it. Remember that cool guy Darcy, how he did it the very first time without oh difficulty? I yes. think you should do that. That's right. I should. Do what he does. He's really good at there games go. out here. See, that worked. Because you told me, do it like you do. Do it, it. Do it good. Just do it <laughs> just better. Just do it better. Get good. <laughs> uh, held note. <laughs> I know this happened last time, but I'm just going to take a quick, quick oh. nap while you wait outside in where'd the dining room. Oh my god, where'd she go? Oh my goodness. Where, where is she? Uh, it's oh, fine. I'm hungry here? anyways, and my understanding is that the food is outside. <laughs> is she by If the... I can get past this bomb, and also this other bomb. Oh, oh, oh my god. <clears throat> oh, what? It's a wall. Do I bite Nom. it? Oh, what is happening? Oh my god. Oh. Little and oh my god, things it's are terrible. It's the out here. end of the world as you know it. Oh boy, it is. Oh, oh my, my god, this is certainly. I think a, I'm just gonna book it. A, a, That's much harder. <laughs> That's a much harder of level. Chaos oh, happening now there. Now there's two walls. <clears throat> I don't. Uh, to be honest, I'm a little confused oh, as to why there was a wall and why biting the wall caused <laughs> meteors to fall from the sky. That, that, oh, no! No, I can't make it up fast enough! No. That's what the other person was complaining about. It's like literally impossible. I could not have dodged that one. Yeah. Reset. It's like doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. <laughs> Sometimes that's the only way to learn. Two hearts, and I'm going to sleep. And bye. It is interesting that the little intro thing. Die, die, die! I can't. Oh, that's the the uh, the intro Good things quote. are integrate integrated. The moment it ends, you start playing. Nothing changes. There's no like. Uh... Oh my god. Ugh. Wasting so many lives. Oh no. Oh my god. Like. Haven't you seen that other guy? He played and he did this. I'm gonna just reset. No, that's that's not what he did. You're doing it wrong now. I'm just I'm just dying on purpose. I want all my lives. Did you notice the tops of these trees have bombs on them? They I think are the bombs on might be fire. fire. Yeah. Yeah. Might be fire. That makes more sense that they are just pieces of the tree on yeah. fire. You know, the top Was the of first the tree. One on fire? The top of the tree being on fire is not a problem. <laughs> Not as much as the bottom. Yeah. 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 Because the bottom It'll... gets the top on fire, but the top doesn't that as quickly get the bottom on fire. That was not on fire. No, it's just a weird looking tree. It is kind of burnt up though. Okay. Oh my god. You you don't jump very high. I know. You oh. what you <sighs> Yeah. Oh, that. that's, this is a hard game. 
It's very precise. It's old school hard. Uh, <laughs> Run! No! So many missiles. Yeah, that's the Pope is. See the Pope? Yum, oh, yum, he didn't yum, die yum. that time. No. That was very weird. Oh my god, he's right on me this time. Oh, is he some sort of priest? Oh, he went through the wall that time. Yeah. I don't understand his movement. Oh, well. I know that parts of him close. can't touch those bombs. Oh god. Oh, there we go. Didn't waste any lives on that one, thank goodness. Look like the Pope. Van Helsing. I'm going to conference call. I'm trying not <laughs> hard luck to laugh out loud at this. <laughs> Let's tell some jokes. <laughs> <laughs> if only I knew some jokes that were funny. Funny enough to make Metal Lunar laugh on his conference call? I don't think so. No. I, 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 don't, I don't have a lot of uh, make people laugh on demand. No. Yeah. We're not comedians. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, bite, bite, bite. <laughs> He's biting the wall. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, my. Oh, God. my goodness gracious. No, no, no. No, no. No! Ah! Meteor to the face! Oh, that was very <laughs> close. This is a hard, hard game. Like, there's randomness that you literally cannot avoid. Well, to like, be fair, I it does give you an awful lot of lives. E yes, it does. That is true. You need them. You need them. You're not allowed to squander them with terrible jumping abilities. Oh, we can make it. Uh, get back to the center. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, there's two walls, and you haven't defeated either of them yet. Ooh, I don't think I can do this, but I can do it there. Oh, you got them both now. Nice! Bite, bite you. Nom, 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 You should get health every time you eat somebody. God, there's so many you should get, uh, new lines. Life. Ah! You, you should every level, at least. I don't know if it did give me. Okay, no, run, 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 I don't run, run, run. mean because of game rules. I mean because of theme rules. You're a vampire. When you eat things, you that should get wasn't... something from it. Uh, there wasn't a big enough opening. Okay, let's do it. 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 Go! <sighs> Woohoo! <sighs> Zero. Do I get another? I do. You do get an extra life, but only one. Uh, but that was for getting her. Yeah. But it goes away when they kidnap her because the life is her. I'm gonna just go sleep for a bit. <laughs> Don't mind me. Ah! <laughs> 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 He Oops. is. The Pope. He just does not learn. I, oh no! 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> what does the Pope taste like? What? What did I say that made Thrust think that I would know what the seems Pope know. tastes like? I'm sure, I said something dumb. But it sounded like that. Hmm. I mean, I do say, "Does the Pope poop in the woods?" Yeah. That's the thing that <laughs> yes. that we say. Yes. Yeah. What's what's the two sayings? It's like, does a bear shit in the woods, and yeah. is the pope is the pope Catholic? That's the two mix-ups. I don't know. I don't know why. I can't remember. It's like one of those things this where the like pope shit in the woods. you take yeah. a you. It's what you said, where it was some things and some steps were taken, and then the steps were forgotten, like the original steps. All I remember is that we. The conclusion is, <laughs> does the pope poop in the woods? <laughs> yeah. What does the pope taste like? Hmm. It's a joke there somewhere. Oh, because, <laughs> because I'm talking about eating the, eating the, pope? Eating the pope. Yes. You should definitely get an extra life for eating the Pope. Yeah. Every level, you should get an extra life. May I ask too many? No, no, it should. No, I'm not talking about um. we should get extra lives. I'm saying we should have a um, thematic benefit to eating people because we're a vampire <laughs> oh true yeah so something should happen you eat somebody some... something should happen oh boy and extra lives is the only thing <sighs> best first level yet thank goodness i also great yeah this game has bats all, all games are required to have bats <laughs> bats are like a constant in video games so many bats Yoink! Hey. What the crap? What? What? Where? Was it something I said? <laughs> <laughs> Was it the garlic I eat? <laughs> no, he doesn't eat garlic. Oh my god! Is this because oh I ate my the pope? God. 
Oh! Why do you do it wrong every time? Oh, it's so hard. <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> do you just touch the wall? And yeah. then you eat the wall, and then Armageddon. Yeah. Ooh. I, I, oh my God. I feel as though I'm missing something on that level. Like, like That one is nothing. It's just... No, but why are there the meteors? Actions? What does that have it's, to do with Dracula? It's get the popes have taken over, and it's the popes just, have taken over. It's it's bad, bad everywhere, and the 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 vampires must rescue. Okay, so the dots in the walls disappear as you get those fingers. Yes, and then and so you need you need one to get rid of the dots for each wall, and then one more to to blow oh, the walls. He's scared now. Look at him. He's scared. He has no. Oh, do we know? Is, is he frowning? Offense. Does he frown? Is that his mouth? I'm wondering. I don't know. But does he Must frown be. before or a big this? Mustache. I don't know. Is he all like, I have a shield? Yay! We'll have to see if I, I make it so, next though. time. It's like the guy in. Um... Oh, come on. Ah! 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 Oh, God. Oh, my God! Oh, oh! So much love. Looks like Terence and Philip. He has a flappy head. He's a Canadian pope. <laughs> <laughs> pope of Canada. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just gonna take a little rest here, and don't mind me. But is it, that's the guy at the end of the level? Is it? No, he's the guy, he's the guy in the second. Third he's the screen. guy that casts the storm of meteors. Uh oh. And the and and the, and the third screen. Yeah. yeah. Or whatever the screen is. Yeah. The one we're both talking about. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. It's oh it's, oh my it's, God. it's it is shocking. It is shocking that the thing they did in this game. Oh my God. To make the first Squirrels. level slightly harder. <laughs> Makes oh no. A static obstacle is is actually uh oh my god super hard. oh see he's smiling look he's smiling he's he smiling. He smiling he does frown after <laughs> oh my god it really changes on this level groundhog slay <laughs> it's a new horror film new horror film okay i did better i'm gonna do once more one more time yeah, those little things have probably killed me more than anything else. Those little things on the ground, which seem like the simplest thing in the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. And they complicated this opening screen <laughs> with a static, you know, thing to jump. They are higher than this, though. This one's easy to jump. They, those ones on that screen are genuinely bigger. That's why you're running into them. Ah, uh, okay. They're... And I'm pretty sure he's drinking blood out of that. Oh, 100%. Uh, it's getting but his powers. it could be wine and blood. Oh, could be a uh, holy wine. By the power of the blood See, look, of he's, Jesus. he's smiling. Oh, he he's is smiling. smiling. You won't be smiling for long, Popey. No. Hey, Popey. Oh, no, I'm sad now. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm scared. <laughs> I'll let him touch me. It's his own fault. His own fault. No fault of my own. I did not touch him. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. Alnifer is asking, aren't vampires afraid of the crucifix? Why is the Pope protecting Dracula? I don't remember the Pope protecting Dracula. Oh, he's not protecting him. No. And that's why this guy is throwing crucifixes. Yeah, so there is there is crucifix. Oh, my God. Okay. Up, 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 up. And then down. Oh, my God. You have to start going. <sighs> Should not be dying on this level. It's like still have five, but it's only level one. Not great. It moves around like Terrence and Philip. <laughs> love, love. Sleep on. Find your own coffin. <laughs> this is my coffin. Maybe she's mad. Maybe she leaves voluntarily, and you're bringing her back. No, she's, she's. I mean, it's possible, but that that requires an explanation because that's not what I'm seeing. Is he gonna drop? There yeah. we go. What I'm seeing is a definite kidnapping, and this is yes. definitely like Dracula mad at a wall. I don't. And like this, this level. is punishment for losing his temper with the wall. Oh my god, that was close. Yeah, you did good dodging that one. I did. That was all me. But you can jump on that level, and be mid jump. 
and a new meteor would come that you didn't yeah, see yeah. before the jump. Yeah, yeah. And the squirrels, like the squirrels, yeah, the they squirrels, jump randomly. Well, it's like I'm sure they jump in a pattern, but sometimes that the pattern is random in its starting point. Yeah. So like, or maybe it isn't. Maybe we need to watch squirrels more. It was our first encounter with squirrels, and I can't say I paid enough attention. Frowny there Pope. are unfair things in this game. Unfair. It's unfair. not fair. fair. It, like, you cannot not die. Unless I'm doing it completely wrong. Like, jumping over oh, that Oh, that's pit. not a crucifix this oh. time. Now it's light. Now it's lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Ball lightning. Ball lightning. <laughs> lightning ball. Okay. Oh, so you can touch the wall. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my God. Whoa. Look at oh, that. Got six better. lives. Yeah, six lives. Doing better. A little bit better. Don't get too happy. Surely he won't take her again this time, right? Metal Lunar says. <laughs> we'll see. I'm so happy. Just, I'm gonna go get, uh, where, oh, where's that? Oh, she's what? gone again. Again. She doesn't learn. So flighty. And she has no... And why does she leave these things that burn? <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, squirrel! And the squirrels, they're the worst. No, they jumped oh, by that tree, right? Oh, yeah, they jumped by that tree. Okay. You deserve it if you die oh, now. Oh, I deserved it. Ah! Yeah, pumpkin! Pumpkin death! Ah! Okay, and the got Pope it. Is oh, trying to, he's dropping anchors on you. That was terrible! I need another cup. Oh, 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 God. I need another cup. Oh, my God. A sack of toys. And I'm, eat not, the I'm, I'm, I'm so hungry. Oh my god. I can't this go that game. way or I'll start a war with the, the, the heavens. Bite, bite, bite. Nom, nom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is this going to be? This is going to be the the Pope with the <laughs> missiles across the screen. And it's going to be so fast, it's going to be impossible. I Yeah, I, I agree. It's definitely going to be impossible. Impossible. Oh, God. Oh, well, they're not faster. I no. suspect it'll be the same... Just, you gotta do. Oh, they are a little more. bit faster. You gotta oh, get rid God, of. God, God. Oh, they're a little closer, is the problem, because there are three walls, oh, and therefore no. you have less space. Yes. So that does make it they start a little closer, bit yeah. harder. Oh, I can't get that one yet. I can't get that one yet. It's even further away. That's not close enough. That one is close enough. Kapow. Okay. Oh, and it seems like the gap. That one's good. Uh, stays. Yes, Pope. Die, Pope. I mean, I think they were crucifixes. Oh my god, look at uh, this maze. Uh, as Alnifer was oh talking god. about. But I, but they're definitely anchor-shaped oh, he's, he's crucifixes. little funny alien heads this time. Oh god, okay, here we go, here we go. Oh my god, go, 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 go! Oh, level four! Oh my god, it's level four! How many little fiery things will they put on the opening screen this time? Oh, look. Look at the trees. Oh. They are burning I down. was predicting. I was predicting that at a certain point, there will be a 50-50 chance of you being able to fly back without losing a what? life. Again? Hitting the tree. Oh, yeah. Yeah, flames. Huh. Okay, four lives. So you have mushrooms and fire in your uh, little uh, castle. Mushrooms? Uh, he can... Oh, he just barely no. can't make it. He can't... He just can't quite quit. He I wants just, to quit. He I wants just, to take a nap, but he's I not just, allowed. He just had a little bit no. of sleep. Oh, just if I could get a few more minutes with the, with just one more snooze, maybe two. Well, he leaves the door open. That's the problem. Like, watch. <laughs> watch. Oh, no, he doesn't. See, he needs a better lock on it. He needs to call the lock picking lawyer. Oh, no. Why on that? See, that's where I die the most. Come on. Oh, what is happening here? Oh, it's the hunter again. Okay, good. Nope. Okay. No, no, You're no. You're gonna start over. No! Ah, my feet, they burn. They burn so much. Oh, no, last life. This is it, this is it for sure. Like, I mean, death for sure. Yeah. Oh, <sighs> so many deaths. Okay, I gave it a good shot. What do you think? Yep. Lock the door. He will not remember to lock the door. He will look the door. He will look it. He will look at. He will look and he will look as his lady is looked out the door, taken out the door. So super challenging, very challenging game, very fun. Um, so try and beat me. Get to the end of level four. I challenge you. Okay. 
Next game is Outrun uh, by Sal Esquivel, KJ Man, Music and Graphics, and TJ Ed Meister, Damage X for Code. This game has been worked on since 2007. Oh. That's a very long time. That's uh, 15 years? Yep. yep. 15 slash 16. Uh, but this is a new build from August 18th, so just over a month ago. It's 128k game. Um, so first we're going to take a look at what OutRun looks like. Um, everybody knows what OutRun looks like, but we're going to look at it on other systems. Um, amazingly enough, this was never made for the Atari 8-bit system. It's on so many other systems, but not this one. Um, so this is a version comparison done by Retro Sutra, who does very great uh, comparison videos. This is that that that. Oh, let's go back. That the arcade. thumbnail screen was amazing. Yeah. Wonder if we get to see it that way. Uh, Um, one of the most notable things about this game is its music. It has really good music. What 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 this is, is the this arcade? One? Okay. This is the arcade version. I was so gonna say it's really good. It's originally an arcade game. Yeah. Um, so it's me... like the thing that's good about it, like the graphics. I mean, I could see these graphics being. I can I can imagine them being very good. Eighty six. Yeah. Nineteen eighty six. Yeah. Very good for eighty six. But and it's the speed the, as well. It's the speed. Yeah, that it, is impressive. When people it's saw the, this game, it was like, whoa! It's the flow and the, you go, like, it's 3D. Yeah, essentially. I mean, it's not 3D, but it is 3D. Oh, like, like when you go up, when you yeah. go up, when the hill goes in front of you, the things stay where they are. Yes. It's like, it's real. Yeah, it feels yeah, yeah. real. It's, it's pseudo That car 3D. in the distance is right where it is. <laughs> it's not like a random Chunking. blip that pretends that it's something and then later changes. Yeah, no. yeah. Um, so Master OutRun System. is an arcade driving video game released by Sega in September 1986. It's known for its pioneering hardware and graphics, non-linear gameplay, and selectable soundtrack with music composed by Hiroshi Kawaguchi and the Hydraulic Motion Simulator Deluxe Arcade Cabinet. It also had that where you sat in the car. Oh yeah, yeah. Which would be make it amazing. It's the perfect. It's the perfect sort of thing to add to uh, your video game when it's yeah. an arcade game. Oh. And it has like a physical box that it's going to be in. Like it always comes with the box. So yeah, it's perfect yeah. to have customized. Oh yeah. The goal controls. is to avoid traffic and reach one of five destinations. So you can pick different um, tracks to go down to to get to your goal. Um, the game was designed by Yu uh, Suzuki, who traveled to Europe to gain inspiration for the game's stages. Suzuki had a small team and only 10 months to program the game, leaving him to do most of the work himself. The game was a critical and commercial success, becoming the highest grossing arcade game of 1987, as well as Sega's most successful arcade cabinet of the 1980s. So it was a massive hit. Let's just jump through. ZX Spectrum, a very low power computer. But uh, the music is really good on this. Yeah, this is not a high-speed game. <laughs> <laughs> this is not high-speed. The, the car looks very good. Yep, for mono kind of graphics. It, 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 there is very I'm sure it would be different side by side, but one. they are all like... Better graphics. They're doing... Sound. They really care about the little Ferrari symbol or whatever it they is. They really care about Because they get that pretty close to right. And the C64 had the Even speed. the C64 has it. Yeah. Kind of a little dangly. Yeah, but it's it's the point is that it, they Yeah. I'm not I'm not saying it's amazing. It's but they got it. Th it that changes. was obviously like important to people. They probably got the license for it, so like yeah. we're going to put it in there. Yeah, yeah. And this one had awesome music, of course. Yeah. With wheel 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 slides and everything. Mm -hmm. Um so this is one of the best music uh, for music. Uh, MSX. Good music, too. Kind of chunky. That's the thing. You need the speed in this game. Th that was the thing that made the arcade... When yeah. you were showing it, I was like, okay, like this is obviously like quality That's... play. Yeah, so the like, Master the System had the speed. Is, is, yeah. The C64 had the speed. The other ones, no. Let's see. MSX, too. 
simpler graphics, but it has this. They're missing the symbol the on the back of the card, though. <gasps> it's just a dot. Uh oh. <laughs> just kidding. Kind of the speed. I mean, he's going really slow right now. No, it has the speed. This one's good, too. Amiga's gonna be great for graphics. Oh, a little chunky. Wow. Yeah, not actually impressing not, me. Not yet. impressing. They should have scaled down the graphics and. I think speed, this feeling of speed is more important than the graphics. That's pretty it good. Definitely, yeah, yeah. That like one, the smooth movement is the important bit. That one's a little chunky, but it's got the speed. That's the Atari ST. That's the sequel to this. PC DOS. That's, that's pretty quick. Terrible, terrible PC speaker music. Yeah. Maybe? Turbo graphics? Oh my god, yeah. That is kicking ass. Game Gear. Yeah. Very fast. Good music. Genesis Mega Drive. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's got everything. I think they usually put them in order of release date of the system. Oh, yeah. So it's just going to get better to perfect from that. Like, that's perfect. Sega Saturn. But we did see a lot of this early on. Uh, some yes. of them were better. Some of the earlier ones were better than later ones. And these are all just going to be like pretty much that look like the arcade. Uh, well, this is Game Boy, so the graphics are going to be scaled down, but it's got everything's got the speed. It's great. Uh, we're not going to look at all those because those are just like. I want to see towards the end. I want to see something from Outrun 3D. That's not going to look great. Oh, like the really, really good ones. Yeah. Uh, a really good one probably would top out a PlayStation 2. Oh, that's not even trying to be the arcade. Yeah. That's like a remake. So really, the top one would be the Xbox. Or the Dreamcast. Like, that's arcade perfect, probably. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Dreamcast. Looks great. Yeah. Actually, it looks kind of weird. <laughs> it might be it might be great it's just a oh different symbol they didn't get the licensing yeah. different car what is that car that's a uh, I can't remember I don't, I don't know. know cars that well I don't know cars at all yeah, yeah it looks the same yeah um, so that is um, what it looks like in all the systems and it did not come out for uh, the Atari 8-bit at all despite 8-bit systems, uh, all the other uh, ones. So it came out for Arcade, Master System, Mega Drive, Genesis, NEC PC 8801, which they didn't show, Atari ST, so uh, Commodore 64 is in the realm in the same era as the uh, Atari 8-bit and the Master System. Um, all the other ones are a little bit newer so it did have some comparable amazed at the number of ports for this i wonder do we know what game has been ported the most uh i would venture to say it would be tetris or snake some form of snake or tetris probably snake because you can make that in like basic really really easy yeah i would say snake pesky robot <laughs> they're trying <laughs> they're trying that's for sure um okay so I was talking with uh, the developer earlier this morning um, with Sal, and he said, Outrun, what's completed anyway, was started being written by TJ Edmister. He did the code, I did the music, and I also did some of the graphics. Uh, we still are looking for a new coder to finish the project for this 8-bit version. Doom run on pregnancy test, yeah. that's Doom has been ported a lot, a lot. The most ported video game is Tetris. I don't know what that means, Doom run on pregnancy test. Oh, everybody tries to port Doom to everything. Oh. Because it's fairly advanced. It's mm -hmm. like pseudo 3D. It's like 2.5D. Mm -hmm. um, so somebody yeah. did port it to a pregnancy test. Because there's some pregnancy, like really advanced pregnancy wow. tests um, that have like digital LCD readouts. So this is for people who are expecting to get pregnant a lot. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. I guess it's for people who are expecting to hopefully be pregnant a lot. <laughs> yes. And so they don't get they disposable ones? Okay, that's cool. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's reusable. Like, like is that... Uh, it, like, yeah, I guess it, it is a port. If you, It's a port if you... It's a port if you reuse the code and it's... doesn't. You don't have to reuse the code. It's just... Uh, 
there's going to be... Isn't it, like, a technically different if you, like... Isn't there, like, a different, like, isn't... A different name. Yeah, a different name. But it's... A, That's a question we're talking I'm going to pose, thing. probably, yeah. like, what... There's two types of ports that I can see. One that reuses code from the original. Mm -hmm. or That's, from that, what... that matches the word. Yeah, you're porting it over. Yeah. But there's also ones that people just make it from scratch. Like, yeah. but it but it looks the same or plays the same. You can yeah. tell that it is. And, and I, words mean what we want them to mean, so they're both right. And I need to find a word for the uh, Atari uh, Homebrew Awards to mm -hmm. differentiate that because that might may not come into play this year, but it will come into play in sub subsequent years because um, Jaguar and um, I think just. Jaguar, really, is the one can, that can port games over. Um, from? From uh, Atari ST. They share the same kind of code. Conversion? Conversion. Yeah. And, but which one are you referring to? <laughs> Converting it over. Like from yeah. another system? Like from code from another yeah, system? Yeah, I think he's That's talking conversion? about the non-porting conversion. There, yeah, yeah, I get why they're like, you call it a port, even if you don't use the even if you don't the dump the actual code but like yeah 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 because the other uh like remake remake works but that has a, a, yeah. it already has meta reason like a, a use yeah yeah and i don't think any of the other atari systems the 2600 has nothing to do with any other system whatsoever um the 5200 and 8-bit share the same hardware so that like taking what from one system to another you can almost you just need to change some of the code mm -hmm. so that would also fall under conversion and the jaguar as well so but, but those no that systems. would be like a legit port though if you're just taking the thing and putting it in and touching it up isn't that like the yeah. most porty version <laughs> of port yeah uh I don't know. oh champ games is converting to 2600 so thrust is saying taking from scratch no code is converting mm -hmm. that's what i th that's yeah. what i took him to mean Rather i think that's port. right yeah because porting is like because i've been using you plug in a, a cable <laughs> and you port i don't know that's what comes to mind right. when you think port like you use a port to <laughs> i'll have to do the some more research over, yeah because there somebody has come up with like names that most people can agree on so left no i'm in the opposite okay okay oh, okay yeah. so port is Using, starting from scratch. Starting from scratch. And converting, you convert from one system to another. You're converting something that exists, right? When you convert something over. But port can work that too. Uh, okay. Champ yeah, maybe Games I just is reusing old code. Maybe is I just don't know what the words mean. For some of his games that he made in DOS, he is. But he regularly says that for arcade new ones that he doesn't use reuse code from anything. He just looks at the game and makes it from scratch. Uh, my Atari have been busted by people trying to restore it. I'm hopefully going to get a refund and either get a ColecoVision with the module or a 7800. Well, get a 7800 because it plays 2600 games. Solved! But ColecoVision has a lot of good games too. But you're going to get biased results asking this crowd <laughs> as we play Atari games here mostly. Uh, okay, let's let's get to the game. Enough, enough blabbing. Enough of the blabbing. But blabbing, that's what I do best. Well, <laughs> I don't. I don't. Oh, ColecoVision has a module. Yeah, so you get... But you don't get 7800 games, and it has a great homebrew scene right now 7800 yeah, yeah i at this point would get a 7800 over a coleco and can I'm anything biased. play coleco other than coleco no okay no, no no i mean apart from emulating or whatever emulating yeah you can emulate anything well not new new stuff but okay so load up outrun please now keep in mind this is an early version s2 uh s1 s2 is very different and seems older Ooh. So I'll splash screen. Best Outrunners. Score, name, route, record, ABC. I'm coming yeah. for you, ABC. <laughs> I mean, I MNO. You. I will defeat you, MNO. <laughs> MNO. <laughs> Let's see if we can get MNO. So magical you can pick shower. the music, and Magical Sound Shower is the most famous one, and we'll listen to all the rest of them. 
so press the button? Uh, oh, the button it's already great. started. Forward is accelerate. I would go to the left to avoid the first car, but you can crash into them if you want. And then once you get to about 100, press down to shift gears and then press forward again to accelerate. So you're on low, L, press back. There you go. Now you're in high and you can go faster. So this one has the palm trees. It has the lines in the road. It's fairly fast. I would say it doesn't go to the top speeds of the other ones right now, but it's like middle fast. And it's got the signs for turning. And it's got the music. This is the super famous one. The transition between I'm um, turning and yeah. straight is uh, pretty jarring. Very definitely. jarring. It needs like probably two, two different segments, like animations or looks to it, um, to make it not as jarring. So his first post in 2007. Hi folks, KJ Man here, long time no see. Sorry if I haven't been keeping up the regular stuff. I put together a group of people to do a new game for the, the Atari. Horsey, oh, you're on low gear. What happened? It's got the horsey. Oh, it does have the horse. And it's got a see-through oh. back. I'm going to pick a loot, pick a route. Oh, extended play. You made it. I might uh, be good at this game. I have some really talented people working on this project. We're striving for the best we can do with original hardware. So uh, our goal is to produce OutRun with all its original scenes in 60 frames per second on a stock 64K Atari XLXE. We're trying to do this with the best playability and original feel as possible. We may add some new features, such as more elaborate corners and other such things, but we'll keep to the original feel as much as possible. After all, we don't want to end up with a gross misfortune like the C64 version, which had the speed, but they changed the look of it. They're trying to go for a look of the arcade. I want to make a... Uh, uh, Alina Wispangle Shipper says, I want to make a 7800 port of Checkered Flag from the Lynx. I've not played that. I don't know what's happening. And the road just keeps splitting. No, you're going... You're probably taking different routes to the end. Um, but I keep getting extended play and... Because you're kicking ass because there's nobody else in the road. <laughs> yes, that's right. Because there was only the one guy at the beginning? Yeah, okay. for now. Yeah, that's as cool. Far as I know. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure... But that everybody the, knows how awesome I'm doing. The car looks great. The road looks great. Um, the background looks great. The music's really, really good. Uh, some people were suggesting that he um, port over the uh, Sega Master System music, which is also very good, or the C64 music, which is excellent, um, to uh, the Pokey. Uh, it is missing cars right now. Obviously. I don't mind. I don't mind it. I would. <laughs> I would. I would. Aim for this, I'd be like, okay, you know, do I need to drive between the hours of. Jorgis uh, Castle says, I like seeing the fender when you turn. I'll have to take a look at that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you do see the front of the car. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, look at that background. Uh, we're still looking for a second uh, graphics person to take some off the burden off our current guy. I mean, this is from 2007. But they are still looking for somebody to do the code right now. Looks like graphics are pretty much under control. Um, when you go to the side of the screen, it does get some some gray on the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's solvable or a thing that is just uh, temporary. It's because they need uh, transparency there, obviously, um, if that's possible. Because there's transparency through the windshield and through the back of the car. Probably don't want transparency. Right there. I think they can make it yellow on the back of the car, or what could they use? They could make it black on the back of the car. The car needs more red. Convertible. Yes, it is. Um, let's see. In 2011, he said, here's a quick update. I've improved the scenery drawing routines and added code to control an NPC vehicle in the game. Uh, I got a cheat file from MAME so I can map out the rest of the stages. So I'm guessing this might go right to the end. Um, so I would say keep going and see if we can uh, see the end of it. Are these all new backgrounds that you noticed? Or they seem to be, I'm, but... Like the big mountain was very obviously yeah. there. Uh, slow but steady. Um, That's the big mountain, so... We've oh, we've seen that. Some. So it may not have an end, it may just loop. 
Uh, Bebo Brox uh, commented on August 19th after he uh, saw this version. Looks so great. Uh, great so far from the video. A few observations which may already be planned. It would be great to have engine sounds and tire screeching when turning. So right now it's just music. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of C64 games did that. They sacrificed any in-game sounds for the three-channel music. Um, some of Vince... Some synth sounds effects in the music tracks would be amazing. Some of Vin's, Vin Cool's synth soundtracks and instrumental effects uh, would be cool. I love the palm trees and the road signs. Will there be Chevron uh, arrows as well? The Outrun, Outrun menu screen looks great. You could perhaps you get more color in them with DLIs perhaps. Tail screen could be done with G2F, Piccolo or Raster Converter, so higher res. Can't wait to see the games. Finally, will the horizon move up and down to simulate hills? And will there be tunnels? So right now, does not move up and down? No. No, so there's that. Which shouldn't seem to be too hard, because you just draw it at a different spot on the screen. Or you cut some of it off if the hill's high. Um, I know that's like super simple on the, on the 2600. You just stop drawing, or you draw something early. Uh, people are also commenting, commenting on how to get sound effects in the game to work with the music with as little audio loss as possible. Uh, Vince Cool said, Yes, it's absolutely possible, as long as there's code to keep track of the sound effects playing and overwrites the Pokey channel, which is also playing the music. The sound effects will take priority over it and will play the sound effects for as long as it's told to do so. So, on some systems, it would drop a channel of music and put the sound effects in and then bring back the channel of music. Because right now there's, what, three, four channels playing right now? It could just drop one of them, like keep the main melody, and just drop one of them, and then put the sound effects for screeching, and then put it back in. I don't know if this is a new one, maybe. Maybe going maybe. right all the time was given the same uh, ones, I don't know. You, so you're taking... Oh, you crashed it. So he took Metal Lunar's advice. Still kind of playing. Way to go, it? Metal Lunar. Now, now look what you've done. Look, look what, what you did. did. Oh, KJ Man says four channels. So you just drop one of those out for sound effects, and you'll be able to. I don't know if you'll be able to make it to the next one to bring it back or not. Yeah, just keep moving forward. Um, and that's all the notes I have. This is the apocalyptic. <laughs> Perfectly background. normal. Perfectly normal. Oh, so I. Well, I'll I'll load up the next uh, game and I'll tell you a story about the concert I went to last night, which was ap apocalyptic, and the bands kept commenting that it was apocalyptic. Uh, okay, so great, great start to OutRun. Um, hopefully any, somebody out there will help him with some code because the person right now um, doing the code is no longer able to do it. Um, so the next games we are going to be playing are emulated because they, for some reason, don't work on my system. The first one should, but it doesn't. So this is for you. Don't pull on too hard because it's very short. So the next game is Skakatori by Rafael Yabowski. Uh, M-G-R-I-N-Z-R-A-F-A-L. Uh, did code and graphics. Uh, and pseudo graphics did uh, something else. I don't have it labeled for some reason. Uh, it's a 810K game. And when you see it, it'll be like, what the hell is 810K in this game? But uh, you will find out shortly. Uh, so one second, let me switch over the cartridge. And load up the actual game before people see what you see on the screen, which is not the game. Oh, that's good. Because that's a different game. Oh, you can hear it, but you can't see it yet. Oh, that's the wrong one. You need to see that one. Oh, why is that cutting off? Oh, because it needs to be full screen. Oh, oh, there we go. There it is. That works. Okay. Ready? Can so I press the button? Yes. Hopefully it works. There we go. Oh, no, there's a video I have to show you. I can show it after. So you have to jump. Oh, you Press did it. You did that right. But, and you got knocked off. That's the computer playing. So let's try it. 
Oh, if I can. Oh, this was giving me trouble before. It's almost, uh... It's almost up. No, it doesn't. See, I can speed it up. Oh. <laughs> but I can't reset it for some reason. It was giving me trouble at the reset button. I'm just going to have to keep reloading it. It's very fast, though. And every time it loads, it gives t two different names for, I'm guessing, the people who are doing the jumping. And you press the button to jump? Yeah. So you have to switch from CPU. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, oh, okay. okay. So give it a bit. Oh. That's, a why, bit I, that's why I died the first time, is that I didn't realize the... Because it started the to jump, jump and I was like, oh, I don't know. What's the jump is slow. Yeah. So you have to really anticipate it. This time it's David and I'm one. I wanna what? We'll see. I, I wanna, wanna not get knocked over. The initial idea, uh, so this is uh, where he got the idea from. No, you have to take over from the CPU. And... No, way too late. Way too late. Way too late. <laughs> so it starts off with the CPU playing. Yeah. And you press the button to take over from the CPU. Yeah. And then you jump. Okay. So you press it right away when it starts. And you'll see at the bottom it says CPU. Looks demo-ish. It's, it's completed. It does look like a demo, doesn't it? Yay! Um, initial idea was to have the animation frames. It's neat. The only thing I can say for sure is that it's annoying you have to restart it that way. It's pretty fast. Oh, don't say that to him. He's like, why are you mad at me? Uh, was the animation's frames being prepared by a graphics artist to make it more cartoonish and fully dedicated uh, for children? For example, one of the ideas was the character to jump over rocks rolling at the bottom. Well, there's some animations of clouds, meadows, birds, and animals in the background. Other idea was to recreate the animation from Little Big Planet. We'll show you after that. I deliber deliberately. Oh, uh, you died. Did it you did. die? You got four. Died. It's your top score. It's my top score. It, it's not right that the computer just keeps playing and playing and laughing at me. <laughs> um, so I deliberately went cheap and prepared the engine just to switch animation frames and call it a day. Uh, in fact, this is how the prototype looked like. The background were just straight lines, but even at the point, it was already 800 kilobytes worth of frames to be replaced with nice graphics. The artist gave up at some point, so I had to come up with graphics myself. Since my graphic skills are not up to scratch, I decided to pre-render the frames using the Blobs algorithm I was working on at the time to sharpen my WASM skills. And that's it. Done and dusted. Sorry for a long story. And his initial post was, I'm working on a new simple game for the Atari. Engine-wise, the game is already complete. Since I'm known for notoriously creating ugly graphics, I was wondering if there's somebody willing to help in that matter. Oh, you made it to the next level or something. Oh, I think you're... Uh, what is to be done is a jump animation of the two sprite-based figures. I can share more details in the private message. So the background is a cheap trick, he says. It's just a bunch of frames pre-rendered using my Metaballs tool. No cert, but, uh, and loaded into the extra RAM. This is why the game requires one megabyte of extended memory. So this game, you have to have the highest upgraded Atari for. And I do not have the highest upgraded Atari, unfortunately. I, and that's I why you have to emulators. run it on. Oh, now it's getting faster. Yeah, I have to run it on emulator. Since the CPU never seems to miss, I would just jump as soon as I saw the CPU jump. Ah, that's a tactic. That would mean that you jump slightly later than the CPU, which might work fine. I beginning. had the same thought, actually. Now it might be. Now it's too late. Because um, you can't probably jump uh, fast. The enough. CPU is not jumping. jumping. Oh, well, they are Jeez. invincible. Oh, they don't jump when they're invincible. So you got up to 22. Let me try. Alejandro, Alejandro. and Leon, Leontina are playing this time. First, I had no idea what this game was called when I saw the video of it. Because um, it doesn't have a title screen with the name of the game. It it just has random names. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh. What is the random called? names thing is neat. I thought that it was yeah. like, designed by. Oh, right, yeah. And the first two times, the first name 
I thought they were the same. I guess they weren't, but I thought they were. Great music, too. I don't know if he did the music for specifically for the game or repurposed the music. It, it is a kid's game. He did he did say it was a kid's game. So. Oh, it's 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 neat. Like the uh, jump right now. The smooth flow of the... Oh, do uh, I get points for jumping, though? No, I don't even get the points. That's why the computer doesn't But you jump. do get practice. Yeah, you do. On the higher speed. You don't lose anything. Get it for that. No, you don't. So you might as well practice at the new speed. Hi! Are you going to distract me? So I don't know why you... Uh, I don't know why you get so much invulnerability. It is a lot. I don't like, disapprove. Like three I don't disapprove at all. I just like I don't know why. You have to kind of do it pretty early. When you played, the colors were different. Oh, so it might be random colors. I swear, the first few times I played, they were the same. Or maybe no, you restarted the game entirely, so it's a, not that could yeah. So that wouldn't be a continuation or anything, no, unless it has more. some sort of persistence. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I can't. You need to stop jumping while I you're know. vulnerable. I can't. Ah! Why can't you? You I weren't vulnerable. Know. Oh, no. I'm getting hit. Oh my goodness. I don't think I'll be able to pass the next one, whatever it is. <laughs> Because I'm barely pausing. So the next one, I will have to stop and kind of start the jumping. That's why they give you so much time. Oh. Oh, no, mm -hmm. it starts you over. Them away. You chased them away, buddy. Now it's real slow, which is actually harder. Yeah, once you get into a rhythm like a... A fast rhythm isn't obviously harder than a slow mm. rhythm. It's no. once you get used to it, it's easier. Yeah. Now I have to contend with how long I'm up in the air. Mm -hmm. It's not too. Oh, I just, long. just about to say it's not too bad. Fifty-nine. <laughs> so you can't really get a higher score than your opponent. There is a two-player version of this as well, but it's fine. Playing one player. Uh, so there you go. There is a Skakatori. Very strange name. Actually, I should look that up. Uh, so let's just stop the music for a second. Because I am very sure it's not English. Skakatori. Katori. Uh, it's oh well from Russian it translates to jumping horses. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's assume it's Polish. Spanish. Ah, Polish. It means jumpers, which makes oh yeah yeah you were saying makes that. sense as yeah, well. Yeah. So there's a crossover obviously between Russian and Polish. What I don't is know it? much about Does the languages. It, what is Spanish? A Spanish. Spanish. What is? Sp <laughs> what is it in spinach? <laughs> Click on Spanish. What does it say? It doesn't know. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. No. Uh, what other languages are similar to Polish? But I mean, you were saying most of these games come from Poland. Poland. So, so I'm get it's it's Polish yeah, for it sure. Likely, yeah. I don't speak it's Spanish. Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <Spanish. laughs> <laughs> That's tell, right. I have to tell Gio about that. <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay. <laughs> super funny. It is super funny. Okay, next one is called Hang Mad. And it's called Hang Mad because it was programmed in Mad Pascal uh, language. But it is Hang Man. Uh, made by... Oh, yeah, I was going to show you the um, video that that one originates from uh, that he was inspired by. Uh, so let's just quickly take a look at that. Uh, go to YouTube. Uh, let's not play the music because Nintendo is... Oh, that's not Nintendo. It's PlayStation. They're pretty good about stuff. So this is where he got the inspiration from the game. For the game. 
was from this level of oh. Little Big Planet. Yeah. Which is pretty much the game. And uh, it does I get. Think, uh, I don't remember this from Little Big Planet. But I mean, Little Big Planet has a lot of stuff in it that you don't need to do to finish the levels. Right. I think Shamara played most of Little Big Planet. Participated in some of it. <laughs> so it gets faster. Okay. <laughs> there you go. That was the inspiration. I mean, a simple game. He made a huge game because all the backgrounds are pre-rendered. Somebody said it could be done on the fly. That uh, for that uh, uh, ball graphic. Um, obviously, not super easy to do. Okay, so let's load up the next uh, game, which is. Mad, what is it? Hang Mad. And this is an audience participation game. Um, because you guys can guess letters. Let me change out cartridge graphics. There we go. This one you can use. And this one should play on my system because I emulated this with uh, 64K in NTSC on Altera, which is loading right now. And, and it worked. But I loaded up on the system and it did load, but whenever I went to do play the game, Hangman game, mm -hmm. it would just say all your guesses, all the letters are wrong and you uh. just die. <laughs> so go down to options in uh, Polish. <laughs> yep. And go title to EN and over. Oh, oh I see. And over. Yeah. Press it. And yay, it's going to be in English. Hooray. So we don't speak Polish or understand Polish or read Polish. Actually, all you need to do is read Polish. Don't need to speak it. And this has the option to play it through FujiNet for the dictionary, which uh -huh. is cool. I would start on difficulty level one and go for long word length because that'll make it easier for guessing more letters. A uh, new game. Dictionary size was 6,000 words. So that's pretty good. So this is... Uh, I already read who it's made by. Pick... Oh, only four letters. Uh-oh. R-S-T-L-N-E. <laughs> Go for uh, Wheel of Fortune. That noise is it loading. Yes, that's the loading noise for an Atari 8-bit system. Oh, two E's. Good one. Need... Peel. Peel, yeah. Uh, seed. Yeah. Ooh, should go for D or L. Both those are really good ending letters. Oh, oh there's the chair. Oh, boy. Okay. What would be another ending? Week? Day of the peep. week? Peak? Peep. Oh, peak. Or peak. Yeah, peak. I'd go for... Okay, a weed, meat. Oh yeah, still got meat as well. M-E-T and and not weed anymore. That D is gone now. Okay. So no, no. Also meek. Oh god, there's the man. Oh boy. Ooh, what is left now? Geek. Geek. No, there's no K. No. Here, no. Fee, fee, veer. Seen, S E E N. Yeah. Beer. Oh, yeah, beer. No, oh my god, this one's hard. What is left? V is veer like v e e r uh no that's v e a r oh boy okay slow down no no you know <laughs> what happens if we fail nothing it's a video game <laughs> the video game continues <laughs> uh whoa weak w e e k no it's not weak because no. the k is gone now obviously you typed that beforehand g oh boy Need no mean no. Uh, wow, stumping everyone. Yeet. 
Yeet. Is that how you spell yeet? Yes, it is. The T's gone. But the no. T's gone. <laughs> Ween. W E E N. Oh, that has to be it. There we go. And Mike Latow wins. Yay. Good job. Good job. He gets to go on the swing instead of. Uh, he builds a swing <laughs> instead of a hangman. That's great. Okay, button. So, uh, this in the only info I could find about this game is from Atari Teka, um, with I think is Polish. Dot P E. I don't know what dot P E is. I thought Polish was P L. Oh, well, you got lots of letters this time. Uh, Wojciech Bosianu Bosianski uh, mm. joined their talents again to bring us more fun for Atari 8 bit computers. This is translated. It is The Hang Mad, uh -oh. a game written in Mad Pascal. Uh oh. A uh, 32 bit Turbo Pascal compiler for the Atari XE XL series computers. In this revision of the classic Hangman game, we have to guess a word in English based on the letters with a limited number of attempts. In total, there are 16,000 different words for each available language, Polish and English. Uh, uh, the state, in a statement to Atari Teka, Bosianski. Uh, specified that the game, despite being fully operational, is still under development. It doesn't have music yet, and the connectivity via FujiNet doesn't work. Oh, so that's not not working just yet. Or this you. might you. Uh, Supreme. Supreme. Supplant. Hmm. I would guess some more letters randomly. You're still pretty good. I go for an L, maybe. All the things I'm thinking of seem to have an L in it. Yeah, I also think so. Oh boy. Or an N. Sunday? No. Like an ice cream Sunday. Somebody's saying. People are saying N. N or M. Yeah, N or M would be a oh boy. No. Nope. Oh boy. He's getting his chair ready. He's not looking good. Wow. A P. I, I'm gonna go P. P sounds like. Oh boy. Sulfate. So no L's gone already. It would work. That's why we picked L though, is because it was like Oh yeah, sulfates with a P and H as well. No, Suffer. Suffer. Suffate? Suff Oh boy. Such such Ale. No, the E L is gone. G. Sud Yeah, Sud G. S-U-G is a lot of words. Surface. Sur Surface. No. Yes. R, yeah. Oh, Metal Lunar might have it. Oh, I think he's got it. Yeah, he's definitely got it. Yep. And it goes to Metal Lunar. Good job. Good job. Um, he announced that together with LISU, they've been working on two more dictionaries, Czech and Italian. Oh, wow. Likewise, the connect connection via uh, FujiNet will allow the program to display definitions for each worm, uh, for each term, from the Wiktionary website. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, in a, in a, it's a noun source for this program. The server is ready for the FujiNet version. Will be published sooner rather than later. Wrote a small Python script to get all the nouns from this dictionary to use them in this application. This didn't help me. A and E. No, the A doesn't help. I bet there's another vowel in there. It's a pretty long word. It is a nice hangman game. Really great graphics. It's got the animation of the moon. Yeah, and you can watch this. Watch. Oh, it's not working. Let's see if I can. No, oh, it's not working. Oh, this keyboard is being. Oh, oh. watch. You're changing the time of day. <laughs> I'm just I'm just making the moon go fast just to show you it does wrap around. Okay. Wow. Wow. Just that's, an A. Well, that's actually quite a lot of information. Yes. How many words have an, only one vowel and it's... Not many. How many six-letter words have only one vowel? So you have to think C -H -Y, of... C-H-Y, something like that. Yeah, I was thinking... No, but no, no, there's no Y. There's no Y. Wow. S-T-R is a three-letter... Um, run of letters in English. C H, C H, yeah. Chant, yes. Yeah, C, C. But I would go for H. H is more common. Yeah, as a uh, combo. Oh, you might be right. 
Chan. An S. An yeah. S. An Shan. Oh. Shanks. <laughs> Shanks. <laughs> Sh yeah. Uh, sh shams? Shan. There's no vowels. That's crazy. Shar? Sharts. <laughs> Shart. <laughs> Multiple sharts. <laughs> it works. Shards. Shards. Yeah. Shards. Well, that's better. Okay, so we'll go with R. Shards. No, it's not a, no, it's <gasps> not a shard. It's not an R. So it's not a... sharts or shards. <laughs> Both great guesses. Sharts. I'm kidding. Of course. Did you guess sharts be at, at the same time I did Ivory Tower Collections? Shafts. Oh, that's still on the board. Yeah. It's an uncommon so word. We go T. Yeah. No. Yeah, I always go for the more common one. Shape. Shap. Shan. Shave. No. Sh no. I have the volume really low because I'm at work. Oh, maybe. Because I didn't see you type it, and if you don't didn't hear me say it, then we both came up with charts at the same time. Shape. Shag. Shalks. <laughs> Wow, what the well, guys, hell? What, shake, s, it, sh shake, 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 shaz, shake, shaz, 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 Let's do a K. Ooh, guessing. Sh yeah, K seems like a good it one. Just, like, it's a, it's a word that, like, fixes, like, with other. Wow, okay, we gotta get it now. Shaz. Shanks. Shanks? Yeah. yeah, I said that earlier. I don't know. It's a word, right? Yeah. yeah you shank yeah. somebody in multiple shanks? I well, don't know. Yeah. Oh, shacks. D detacher. Deteacher? Shacks. Shacks. That's one I was saying before, and I was like, no, I don't think it's... it's I think I was calling it wrong. shanks. Yeah, let's try that. Shacks is... No. <gasps> wow. There's shanks. Shapsks. Shavusk. All this rest left is... Sh sh shanks. Darcy gets it with Shanks. <laughs> Yay. Yay. <laughs> uh, so Boshianu also did Flob, which we played as well. That little um, blobby character that you move around the screen. I don't know if you played it with me. Uh, you flip the screen and the blob falls to the ground and you move it along and you flip it and it falls to the ground again. Hmm, I don't mm, think maybe not. that sounds cool. How many guesses total do you guess? Oh, we should count them as we go. It looks like 10. Oh, shanks? Definitely not a word that, like, nobody would use that almost ever. Watch while Bob shanks Susan. <laughs> like, well, it's well, well, not a... Susan died shortly after being shanked. <laughs> but yeah. it's shanks. Shanks. Shanks would be more common. Shanks yes, shanks is, is the active... Unless like, it's... Do, doing it right now. Unless it's a multiples, it's like... But is it... I have several shanks for shanking. Yes, it can yes. be the object too. Yeah. It can be the action or the object. Oh, five letters. A dominatrix would say it every day. <laughs> shanks? Real? I thought I was associated with stabbing somebody. Oh, it is a cut of meat. Yeah. So you have multiple shanks. That's why shanking so someone is probably the word. <laughs> associated. I'm going to make a cut of meat out of you. Okay, guess. Uh,. We go e. with e. e today. Yay, goal! And then that's at the end. I don't think, I think we've got, hmm. I think we're going with A. Yeah? Another row? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Now I think we're on to. Uh, still guessing though. It's still too vague. Yeah, but what I mean is now we're on to consonants. Yeah. Shanking on a bit. Shanking <laughs> on a bit. <laughs> uh. But it was shanks, not shanks. shank or shanking. That's why. That's why. Because I said it Multiple early on. Shanks. I said early on it could be you shank, did. and then I was like, ah, oh, that's that. That's weird. That's a rare. That would be game. weird if that was a the word. But rare, like, rare that's word. the thing about. That's the thing about these games is that the computer doesn't care how common the word is. They don't base <laughs> it on how common a word it's is. Just a word. Yeah, it's just a word. It's Shank. a horse thing. It's not dirty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Could be a programming thing. Oh, I shanked the, that bit. <laughs> I think. He shanks so... bits all the time when he programs. <laughs> S, 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 S. 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 No. Oh, okay, that's one. 
We're going to count them. Because you might fail on this one. Because it's only yeah. five letters. Actually, you can easily see at the end uh, how many you've guesses you've done. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, L or N? Yeah. I'll R S T L N is just like the super common ones. That's the ones they got rid of in Wheel of Fortune like 15 years ago because everyone would guess those every time. So they're like, we're going to give you RSTLN and you have to guess like four more. Yeah, none of them. Yeah, so the Wheel of Fortune thing didn't work here. There's not a single one. <laughs> RSTLN and E. Wow. Yeah, that's a hard one. <laughs> uh, Q. Let's go with Q. No, no, it's a, not going to work. <laughs> just There's kidding. no room for the U. <laughs> just kidding. Well, there's room, but... It, uh, uh, P is pretty common. Yeah. But I, uh, pay. Hmm. Oh, I'm so sorry. And it's got lots of little sayings at the bottom, and also sayings that uh, rotate when you. Uh, Fable. Pay. No, there's no L. Oh, damn it. W. Whoa. Oh, May no, the L is Maybe. Gone. That's what it is. M A Y B E. Go for M. That's most common. Maybe. Oh, oh God. Oh no. M A M A I D E. No. 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 That's crazy. Yeah. That was, oh well. Maze. That would. No. Not anymore. No. I got rid of. Yeah. It would have worked a second ago. It would have if it worked, but it's <laughs> been rejected. Oof, man. I'm just going to do that one. Ah! Bad move. You don't know my goal, computer. <laughs> my goal might be to see what happens if we die. That's right. Yeah, that is... that is. I declare that that's my goal. Oh, crap. <laughs> now I might fail on my goal. Your goal. Oh, I uh, should have left it open. Not a U. Not an H. Meg? Meg? Max. Math. No. Math. Mace. None of these work. Uh, Max. Maze. Maz. No uh, idea. Move. M A U. No. U V E. Yeah, could be move. Oh. There you go. Move. There you go. Every tower gets it. Nice. So how many? One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, minus 5 is 9 at least. Wrong guesses you get. And we're on easy mode, though. We're on easy mode. Yeah. It's But easy mode probably means we would be dead if we weren't on easy mode. I wonder why, how it dictates easy mode. Less well, common what, letters, more common letters. Well, what I'm saying is it's probably how many mistakes can you make till you get hung. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes more sense. You press the buttons. Okay. <laughs> oh, the responsibility. It's too much. It's too much. Okay, six letters. We're going start for with, vowels. Yeah. yeah, you can start with Q. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> Could start with Q. A and E. Oh, oh we're going to go I. Oh. Ooh, I think I'm going to finish, not do any more vowels. Yeah. R, hmm. Looks like an L word. Looks like an L I was right. <laughs> oh, now we got something going on here. Are there double letters? There must be. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I like the animation. Yeah, the moon is great. It really contrasts. Really stands out. Calico. It's oh. risky. I'm going to go for the O, not the C's. C's are pretty uncommon. But that you... was a mistake. <laughs> Mike Letow, how could you lead us astray? <laughs> uh, Rala, Rala, no, Malice, Malice? No, E's gone. I do like that M. Starts off nicely. Sal, Saline? No, E's gone. Tally? Ooh, T's nice too. Walla? No, M and T are looking good. Not salt. That's a die. I'm going to go for not T. A T. Yeah, sure. Ooh, ouch. ouch. Ooh, ouch. Emma? Shall I risk it? That looks like Why the... not? 
Oh, oh. no. Pala? Pala? Palace? Palace? No, he's gone. Damn it. P does seem like a But pal is, uh, Palace isn't spelled with an I, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Does. Phallus. <laughs> It's no, not how that's no spelled. H, not at all. No F. Ga Gaelic. Or right, there is an F, but there's no P there's no room for a PH. So. Halid. Bailiff. Ooh, that'd be a tricky one. Should I? It's no suggestions. Yeah, just. Ooh, should I do F or B? Uh, F. F. Yeah. Oh, oh. Or, I don't know if I want to do B now. Try S. We haven't done S? Oh my god. Oh boy. Oh well. What's he doing? Getting the rope? Planting a seed? I think he's tying the rope around his neck. No, because no, the rope's up the there. Rope. I don't know what he's doing there. I don't know. And uh, nail it. Nails? Nails. <laughs> no suggestions from the audience. Rail. Rail. Ours? Okay. It's very common too. Oh boy, he's saying goodbye to the stars. I think we have one more where he stands on the chair before it's over. Dalek? <laughs> oh boy. B. Bail. Vewa. What should I do? Val. Val. Valic. V is pretty uncommon. Yeah, but we're past the point of the normal <laughs> use are. of letters. Like, V could be... It could be that when you have a V-A-L-I, that V is the most common. It's true. You know? I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying that... Should I click well, it and blame you? Well, well <laughs> hey, go for it. You click whatever you oh, want. Oh, Darcy, you led me astray. <laughs> D. Oh. Jala? It's definitely not J. Uh, I'm gonna do B. Oh, Bal. there we go. Bal. Ballast? No. Balin? Ba. Balua? Bali? Baliza? Balig? Balah? Balagd? Balid? I go with Y. <laughs> Baliny? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. None of these make any sense. No. Balawu? <laughs> Is that a thing? Balawu. It might be. There's some strange... Balism. Balzg. How can this not help us? Balik. Baliki. 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 Balik. Balage. Oh, boy. I, if you're going to die on something, I'd die on the Y. <laughs> on the, yeah. Because it's going to be a something Y. Right? I don't know. It's, it could oh, be. Oh, this is the last one for sure. Look at him. He's getting that rope. He could put it around his neck, though, first, and then jump. I mean... I don't like this. B-A-L-I-G. Balawu. Should we go for Balawu? We're going for Balawu. <laughs> We're going for Balawu. Because we have no clue. Okay, RC-70, Sorry. it's on you. It's on you. Oh, oh, no. It's, oh, it's RC-70. You let us... Oh, oh, you let us astray. He's about to kill himself, and you say Balawu? Balix. <laughs> N is a super common letter, and I don't know why we haven't... R-S-T-L-N. That's like Wheel of Fortune. Try it. Balany? No. Balans. <laughs> ba Balanu? Balanu? How? Balik. Balink. Balink? That seems like something. Is that like... Sounds more like something than the rest, but none of them sound like <laughs> Belling. Belling. ING. Belling? I'm just saying that it does work. ING is a, a thing. Yeah. I don't know what that would mean. Bailing? That's not bailing. Bowling? Don't do that. Whatever. Yeah. Balling? Balling. Bailing hay. Oh. But bailing is ba B A I -L -L? bail, isn't it? Oh, it is. We're going to go no, for bail. G. No, no, you're right. Bail. B A L E. Bail. Yeah. yeah. Oh, pfft. we're dumb. We suck. That was really close. It was. He almost died that time. Those poor pixels almost died. Almost, but they didn't. Okay. We'll do one more. We have time for one more. Bailing. Yeah, I ITC got it, but a little too late. We didn't think it was a real word. We just wanted to carry on and blame you for it. <laughs> <laughs> because we're too dumb to realize that. <laughs>
It's not. We're just A L I N G no was actually pretty solid. It's gonna, be, <laughs> it's gonna be bailing again. No, it's not. Oh boy. These I think these words are hard. Like they've just got rid of super easy words. I don't think bailing is a hard word. I think we're just stupid. Oh, bailing water? But yeah. I just think it's I B A L E Bail. Yeah, yeah, bale of hay. Not B A I L. Hmm. P? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Rope? Rope? R-O-P is... There's lots of R-O-P. But there's no... Ooh, nice. Uh, roping? Rope Try I. That's a good one. Yeah. N. Oh, oh is this the best yet? Shall we go out on a high note? Yeah, yeah. Oh, da, da, da. such win! Such win! Okay, we're going <laughs> to do one more, but it's wrong. We're going to oh. just guess yeah, we the gotta, worst letters. Worst thing, yeah. Let's try not get a word. Try Z. The then worst Q. letters. Oh, definitely Q. Y is not a bad word. X. X is terrible. Okay. W. W's sketchy. We're but just gonna hate on W. Okay. Woo. C. That's super uncommon. J. Is it? J's are uncommon. Okay. Yeah. C's fairly. Uh, out of v. The, v. Yeah, that's first. Then uh, C. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, we'll see. We can still do it. Oh, it's easy. Just pick all consonants. <laughs> oh. Don't pick any vowels. Yes. <laughs> R P A T S M N H. Oh boy. Trench. <gasps> Who's on top? Who's on top now? Who's on top now? The French are on top. <laughs> That's who. <laughs> so, how many was that? Um, okay, we'll do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, minus so 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 12. What? 12 to die. 12 wrong letters to die. On easy. Oh, yeah. It's not a guy hanging himself. He's actually just a crane moving around in the background. <laughs> what? <laughs> It's like, mm, 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 mm. Uh, really good hangman game. Like, pff, could it be any better? I mean, they're going to put, they said they're going to put music in the background, uh. which would be good. And sound effects, they're going to extend the languages to Italian and Czech as well. Actually, there's a lot of Czechoslovakian um, Atari 8-bit programmers as well. Um, and they're going to have online dictionaries. Uh, to reduce the size of the file so that you can use it over FujiNet, uh, which is that uh, Wi Fi add on that we have. So, ZPH is a Wizard of Oz lore thing regarding a scene in the movie. Oh, I did not get that. Oh, the crane moving in the background is the reference. Oh. I didn't, I don't have to look that up. Uh, so, uh, really fun games today. We play Dracula Story, which I got pretty far on, because the only other comment in the thread, they uh, died on the pumpkin thing, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, he died on level three, trying to avoid the missiles. He just said that it's not fast enough, like you can't move fast enough to avoid mm -hmm. it. Proved you wrong. In some cases, yeah, you can't move fast enough to avoid it. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Uh... Like, you will die. Like, if they put on level three... Uh, a space on the bottom to go through and then a space on the top I don't think you can move fast enough to avoid it so you have to lose a life I don't know what myth you're talking about RC70 what myth I remember leaving that myth hard as a kid I thought I watched my first faces of death I guess it's in a wizard of oh okay in the wizard of Oz I'm guessing they're saying there's something in the background mm -hmm. that looks like somebody hung themselves but it's actually a, just like a crane having, like lifting up something. Uh, like a, you know, a movie set crane, which makes sense. Uh, so we played Dracula Story, super fun, very hard and challenging. Um, we played Outrun, really great start to an Atari 8 bit version. A bird crane. A bird crane. Oh, an actual. How would that look like somebody hanging themselves? I guess if it was attached, like the head was on something or there's a piece of rope or something hanging and just a dangly body bird crane. I'll have to look that up. Uh, Outrun, super awesome. Skakatori, um, simple game. 
Um, but it did its job. I had great music. Um, and then Hangman, really great Hangman game. Like, really, yep. really, really good. Um, so, coming up on the show, we have a bunch of stuff. Let's make that list a little bit smaller so it doesn't look like just a bunch of nothing. Um, we're going to be playing Space Race. We're going to have a 7800 day on Tuesday. We're going to be playing Space Race, a new game, and Pac-Man Collection 40th Anniversary Edition for the 7800. Um, and then on next Friday, are you going to be here next Friday? I believe so. Okay, yeah. cool. We have Developer Spotlight. We're going to do an interview uh, with Todd Fermansky live on the show and also have the exclusive world premiere of his new game, Harpy's Curse. So we're going to run through all the games he's made. You're going to be playing them. I'm going to be talking with him. So you're going to have a lot of fun playing all the dragon-based games. I will. Um, and then on October 7th, which is coming up pretty soon, we have the exclusive world premiere of Load Runner 2600, as well as an interview with Dion Ulsthorn talking about this magical, awesome game. You definitely don't want to miss that. I expect a lot of people tuning in for that. It's a beloved game. Um, and he did an unbelievable job for the 2600. And then we're off to Portland Retro Gaming Expo. We will see you down there. There's a meetup on the Saturday. We're going to be at Ground Control. Um, so come on down to Ground Control. It's an Atari Age ZPH uh, meetup. We'll play some games at the Barcade and uh, have some drinks. Cats won't be coming, unfortunately, uh, but they'll be there in spirit. We'll show you pictures of cats. I don't know. Hey, do you want to go? Portland? No, too much paperwork to get to across the border. Oh, blinky cat. Um, and then in November 1st, we will be doing probably two days of ABBUC contest entries for Atari 8-bit games. There's some really nice ones if you've been following that. Uh, yes, Pac-Man 40th is getting a physical release. I thought that the game uh, only had FM sound, though. Did Bob release a TIA version of the game? Oh, that's a good question. I will do research for next uh, show and see what kind of uh, board they're going to use for that. I don't know if it's been announced yet or not, but I'll look into it. And uh, maybe we'll be pushing it off if there is only a TIA or I don't know. We'll see. Uh, that would be very interesting to find out. Okay, so I uh, just added this. Recently, we're going to have a ColecoVision day. I uh, don't know when. A bunch of things have to come in for that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm getting a new ColecoVision joystick um, from Retro Game Boys. I have um, joystick... Is that like the um, weird hat thing? Yeah, it's the weird hat thing, which I don't really like. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It's better than Intellivision because it's kind of more like a joystick. But this is like more like this where it's an, an arcade style for oh, the okay. ColecoVision um, it looks really really good Retro Game Boys makes really great versions of it I'm getting uh, number one of that joystick so I'll be showing everybody what it's like and how it works um, so thank you Retro Game Boys for sending that, that out to me first so I can show it off and also um, we're going to be playing a bunch of games from Opcode games a distributor for ColecoVision games and he is going to be sending me a super games module for my ColecoVision and we are going to be playing the brand new Moon Cresta game for the ColecoVision and it looks awesome. Uh, we're also going to be playing Donkey Kong, Pac-Man DX and Gradius and my ColecoVision is RGB as well. So it'll look good, it'll sound good, and the cats will be there. And I don't know when that'll be, so because a couple things have to fall into place. Um, and uh, a whole bunch of other things that are unscheduled right now, uh, including Jalaga, which I'm really looking forward to. It's Galaga on the Jaguar. It looks amazing. Um, uh, yeah, I just know that the version I have only works on the DF card since it's used the YM chip for sound and only YM, so we'll be able to show it off at least. Um, so I wonder what board he's going to be using for replacement for the YM. Um, 
I think there are some boards that we're going to be showing off on the show soon that do support different sound chips. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's not going to be using an FPGA um, sound. Yeah, so yeah, I have a ColecoVision that is modded for, and we've never done Coleco on the show. Yeah, we've done Intellivision, so that's probably why you're asking. So this is my upgraded um, ColecoVision that has RGB out, and it connects to EU SCART, so it's all ready to go. And these are upgraded. I won't be using these, but I do have upgraded kind of more arcadey joysticks for this. So these we, are the ones you're talking about that you have? Uh, that I already have, but I'm getting a new one okay. that's more like that. Oh, gotcha. Um, and because the original ones had is, like a flat hat, right? I haven't upgraded my Dragonfly yet um, because I haven't got the part yet. Should be coming soon. Sorry, what did you say? The original ones had like little flat hats. Yeah, little flat hats. Yeah, yeah and they Which were they really were fine. Like they were okay. Cause... These are a little bit better, but the one I'm getting is even better. And these have straightened cables. They're also upgraded as straightened cables. They were curly uh, originally, yes. so they're like, oh, they're always pulling, yeah, yeah, yeah. pulling back on you. It was very yeah. annoying. It was definitely, how can we make this so it fits back in the container better instead of how can we make this so you want to use it? <laughs> exactly. And neither, like, either one of those sucks in the other direction. Yeah. Oh, and I also have this upgraded power adapter. It's oh, a 5 volt that's so good. power adapter, 512, and it's that's, powered off of a so USB. Good. It is. Like, and how that's... much power does it use? Uh, many... It gets hot. It gets very hot. What, this thing? Yeah. Ah. So that's one complaint of this, but it, the original power supply is like, it's huge. It's mm -hmm. that big. Oh, I can switch back over, sorry, so you can see my really actually super shiny <laughs> ColecoVision. Like when I got this yeah, from yeah. the guy that I got it from, I was like, oh my God, this is pristine. Yeah, yeah. Pristine ColecoVision, like so nice. And it was already upgraded. Um, it's the same guy I got my um, TurboGrafx Super FX um, system. Is it this one? Super. This one as well, which is like really rare and very expensive. Um, and there's like six games made for it. It's super flopped. Like really, really flopped. Sorry, what do you mean flopped? Uh, nobody bought it. Oh, okay. Yeah, and okay, I understand now. You mean like a handful? It was a of huge games. flop. Yeah, yeah, huge flop. Probably one of the worst, actually. And uh, but the games are good. Uh, I don't have any of them because they cost an absolute fortune. What I mean though is whether you have them or not, uh -oh, were I... they quality? Like, is it worth having? It, obviously, you have the thing, so like to some I'm degree, not you must. Sure. Uh, okay. I've never really looked into them. Um. Yeah, I have uh, Phoenix as well, right here, which is the ColecoVision with an FPGA board in it. Um, so it's got emulated and, hardware. And a built-in... Uh, oh, built-in SD, SD card. Plus it also has the built-in Super Game Module. Um, and, and that holds History all time. the yum, original... Yum, yum, yum. Did you hear them? Yeah, scramble immediately. Um, this also, can you can put a 2600 core and 7800 core in it. Um, you gotta make the noise. The crying noise. That noise. Ding ding. He likes doing it twice. It's really cute. Just snuck that in. Uh, is the 3.5 millimeter jack audio only? Oh, on the. Ooh, let's see. I think it might be just audio out. But I am pretty sure. Actually, I'm not sure that the audio is carried over this. I haven't plugged it in a long time, so if it's not... Yeah, I don't know why they would put a 3.5 millimeter jack. Yeah, you can run the audio on the 8-pin mini dim. Maybe it's just an external one to connect up to something else. Not sure. We'll have to see. We'll find out. We'll find out when we plug it in. Can't see Atari. Oh, I know. No. I, moved, I moved his bell. I moved oh, his bell. Okay. <laughs> or is it a TRS jack and they added a composite board in there too? 
Oh, it could be. It could be a multi out. Oh, that's it. <laughs> that's it for they, you. They actually got a lot. Oh, they were they were just they were doing real good. <laughs> dig, like dig, 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 like dig. like they they deserve more snacks. Oh, is the RF so still good. on it? Uh, yes. Yes, the RF is still on it. Does that help give you a hint as to so it has composite plus audio? I hope that'd be great. Then it could be very well. It has composite on that 3.5 millimeter jack. Yeah. Like um, a video and a mono audio or a video and a dual mono audio. You'll find out. Um, hopefully everything is carried through one uh, through the SCART because that makes it a lot easier for my setup. I don't even know if the retro tank can do SCART plus audio separately. I think it should. Yes, on the NTSC CV, the modulator creates the composite video, not the VDP, so it has to remain if you want to composite. Oh, that's the hint. Koto wants to see that console beside. Oh, for size. It's yeah. pretty big. It's one of the bigger consoles. It's not super huge, but it's, it's large. So let's go. You can put it by the Atari there. Yeah, the Atari's they're probably the... I meant the 8-bit. Yeah. So it's just, a, actually it's almost exactly the same size. Almost the same width, and it's a little same bit... Same width. Um, a little bit uh, deeper. It's closer to the camera, so it looks bigger, but it's it's actually... It's not vastly larger than the 8-bit. Yeah, that's better. So there it is side by side. It is. And again, it's closer to the camera, so it looks longer yeah. than it is, but it's only a little bit bigger. It's like an inch uh, deeper, and it's like, like it's exactly the same width. And for height, it's about 50% higher than that. So it's pretty, it's one of the larger systems. I Half say. that console's empty airspace. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing about it, <laughs> is that it's got space to hold the controllers, which is weird. Yeah. It was a neat idea, but like it takes up a lot of space. It, it and the controllers aren't that easy to put back in at nice. Like like your mom would tidy it up and stuff those controllers in maybe if she cared about that or your dad or someone who cared exactly. about the, the living room looking nice. I mean it's but not, the average video game player doesn't care that much about it. <laughs> it's Some not of them. it's not this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the second biggest. What's the biggest? Neo Geo. Hmm think is bigger than this somebody can correct me either this is the biggest console uh ever made and <laughs> this and is, a lot of empty space this oh, is yeah. all empty space for your beer at the top <laughs> for your beer <laughs> it's for the controllers of course but there is a lot of empty space in this like it's yeah. out of control how big this is yeah. it's ridiculous absolutely ridiculous Yeah, those are those are probably the biggest biggest consoles out there. I can still feel the power button of the 5200. I want that button for all my on switches. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, ColecoVision on switch is pretty mighty too. A very big click, like it's a, a slide one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very big. The whole left side of the console is empty space for the controller tray section. Oh, for the uh, ColecoVision, so you could make a mini Coleco if you cut it down. I wonder if you could. Anyway, we are out of here. Thank you for tuning in. RC70, Vitoko 8-Bits, Ivory Tower Collections, Thrust. Always nice to see you here for an early show. Uh, KJ Man, X Can X. Oh, thank you, KJ Man, for um, giving all the information about OutRun and keep on it. Hopefully you can find a coder to help you out uh, to finish off that game, because I know People will love it. It's already very playable. You just need some more, some enemies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Danny VC, Mike Latow, Yorgi's Castle, D Teacher. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Uh, uh, who else? Before we hit the top here, Charles Wheeland. 
Uh, teleprompter 312, first time chatter, welcome. Alina Wispangle Shipper, long name. Fernando Salvio, welcome back. Uh, and, oh, did we run out? We did, so thank you so much for tuning in on this Friday and we will see you and again. And the kitties wanted me to tell you thanks, Alnifer. Oh, who did that? Alnifer was, yeah. and yeah. who did the first one? I don't, oh. Uh, I think I've got it here, here it is, Thrust. Thank you, Thrust. I was thinking of putting down the amount mm. that is needed to do treat time because some people were running out, but then other people went, no, I have a billion points. <laughs> so it's like, no, just those people were doing it consistently. Yeah, yeah. Neo G might be largest with the OG Xbox being the heaviest. Oh my God, that one's so heavy. Yeah. Uh, so we'll be back on Tuesday with some 7,800 games. So tune in then and have a good weekend. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, no, and yet. tonight, if you're in Vancouver, yes, which you're not, but if you are, it's the yeah. 20th anniversary of Drexel Games. That's right. And we're doing the 24-hour game night, which uh, is as dumb as it sounds. We <laughs> we start at six o'clock Friday night and we play till six o'clock Saturday playing board games. Darcy does dumb things like I do all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. Like I do big marathons yeah. and all that movie watching and video game marathons. Yeah. That's why we're friends. And I'm going to be on the radio things. tonight. Yes, so... CBC Radio in Vancouver, so that's... They can listen on the internet. I'm sure that you can, and I bet your socks would be just blown off by whatever what nonsense I have to say. 5.30. 5.35, I think, actually, I'm on. 5.35 Pacific Time, CBC Radio, listen to this guy babble some more. Yeah, I'll about ramble a, about board games. Stuff, yeah. um, oh, and I, and I forgot my story, because I won't ever tell it again. <laughs> I went to... Uh, a concert last night. Mm, that's uh, right, yeah. Me first and the Gimme Gimmies. It's a punk band that does nothing but covers, and they're absolutely mind-blowingly amazing. They're a punk super group. They're made up of other punk bands that most people would not have heard of, except for the bassist tonight. Last night was C.J. Ramon from the Ramones, and the other ones are from fairly prominent punk bands as well. Um, but it was the con the concert was in a defunct casino in Vancouver, and two out of the three bands commented on the escalator in the corner, because uh, it was so bizarre of a space. Like when Tanya and I walked into it, we're like, this is a, this is a really weird concert space. Yeah, yeah. Like it's, it was a casino, <laughs> and there's like layers and like bars all over the place, uh, which is great for a concert. But two of them described the space as post-apocalyptic because it looked like, oh, we're playing this in this abandoned old thing that is just from 20 years ago and, you know, society has collapsed and we're just all hanging out at this place. It, because there was like empty things in the ceiling that you knew were decorations before, but they're just wire now. Yeah. But holy crap, is it a, ve a really good concert space. People, they put a lot of money and effort into the lighting. I don't know if that was there before, but the lighting was crazy. Like these huge LED panels that go on the ceiling and all the way back. Um, the sound was really good too. Um, but uh, yeah, if you like uh, punk or covers, check out Me First and the Gimme Gimmies. They are unbelievable. It's a rotating group of musicians uh at, last time i saw them it was uh fat mike from no effects on on bass and they just change people all the time but anyway uh that's probably out of the wheelhouse of most people so i will we'll see you on tuesday and uh so have a good weekend bye everyone bye bye, bye, -bye.